Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel, where I dive into the fascinating world of large brachial parts. In this video, we'll be exploring the realm of these unique creatures. For those who are new to my channel, you might be wondering, what exactly are brachial parts? Well, they're an ancient group of crustaceans that inhabit temporary bodies of water, and they share a common feature, branched phyllopodia or gilt feet. Phyllopodia, which are leaf-like limbs, serve as multi-purpose tools for branchiopods, aiding in locomotion, feeding, and respiration across all species. Now, when we talk about large branchiopods, we can categorize them into three major orders, Nodostraca, Anastraca, and Contostraca. These are the living representatives of this ancient legion, with one extinct group, Rebecchiella, dating back a staggering 525 million years to the Cambrian Seas. First, we have the order Nodostraca, which translates to backshell. Tadpole shrimp, as they're commonly known, are recognized for the prominent carapace or shield, distinctive three eyes, and an average size ranging from 2 to 3 inches. They somewhat resemble tadpoles, and in some respects, horseshoe crabs. Within this order, you'll find two genera, triops and lepidurus, distinguished by the presence of a fan-like structure located between the cercopods. These voracious predators and organic matic scavengers tend to inhabit the benthic regions resting on the habitat floor. Next up is the order Anastraca, meaning without shell. These are the fairy shrimps and their relatives. Remarkably, these creatures swim upside down, showcasing their graceful movement. While brine shrimps are perhaps the most well-known representatives of this group, there are over a hundred diverse species found worldwide. Lastly, we encounter the order Conchostraca, meaning shell shell. They are commonly known as the clam shrimp, due to their clam-like appearance, featuring two shields that can enclose the entire bodies. These creatures can also be found at the bottom of their habitats, propelling themselves using their antenna. The majority of large branchiopods are closely tied to temporary bodies of water, with a few exceptions residing in permanent water sources. These habitats vary significantly in terms of elevation, latitude, geology, water presence, temperature, and soil composition, all which contribute to the incredible diversity of branchiopods. Moreover, the isolation of their habitats plays a crucial role. Branchiopods have a unique survival strategy that allows them to thrive in these niche habitats, the production of resting eggs called cysts. These aren't your typical eggs. Cysts can withstand adverse conditions such as drying, freezing, or even passing through the digestive system of animals. They can lie dormant in the soil for decades, awaiting the return of water, and interestingly, they play a vital role in the dispersal of these organisms. Now, you might be wondering, what's the significance of branchiopods? Economically, branchiopods have been used as food in the aquaculture industry, especially the cysts of branchium, which are hatched and used to feed young fish. Additionally, a hobbyist market has emerged, starting with sea monkeys where enthusiasts collect and raise branchiopods. However, the full economic potential of branchiopods remains largely untapped. But beyond economics, the ecological importance of branchiopods is immense. Many animals rely on them and their habitats for food, especially migratory birds. Altering or destroying these habitats through development or pollution disrupts the delicate ecological balance impacting resting, feeding, and nesting grounds for various organisms, leading to an ecological disturbance. Sadly, once these habitats are altered, 
it's often impossible to restore them for branchiopods, as these creatures are intricately tied to these niche areas. In California, for instance, 80 to 90 percent of such habitats have been lost to development, with some branchiopods listed as endangered due to human activities, a truly unfortunate situation. With this YouTube channel, my aim is to educate and inspire people about branchiopods and their captivating world. I hope my enthusiasm and involvement pique your interest in these ancient crustaceans, prompting you to take a second look next time you encounter a puddle or a pool. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more content.